Hi Dolly friends, this is Kitty and I'm Tati and, and welcome, welcome to Little Bottle Nursery. Our channel is dedicated to our love of dolls and creating fun and positivity in the doll hobby. So stick around and have some dolly fun. Hi Dolly friends, happy Friday. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to join us here. We really appreciate it. Well, today we've got a box opening, so that's exciting. Uh, and it's a part of Casual Fun Friday, the hashtag and the theme that we host every week. We thought we'd do something really fun this week and do a box opening. I have my Princess Adelaide doll joining me here today. She's a reborn toddler doll and she is actually the Princess Adelaide sculpt. I didn't change her name. Uh, the sculptor is Andrea Arcello and she was reborn by Kiwi Serenity Reborns. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this video and click the notification bell if you never want to miss out on any of the fun that we have here at our channel. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. My name is Kitty. We are so happy you could join us today. Uh, please say hi down in the comments. Oh, look at little Princess Adelaide. She's so eager to get into this box and find out who's going to be joining our nursery. So I already know what's in this box. This box actually contains two vintage dolls from my childhood. These are actually the first baby dolls I ever received. So let's get started and do the big reveal. Ta-da! Look at that, they're my baby alive dolls, my two baby alive dolls. I got this one first, I think in about, mm, maybe 1975 or 76 and then I got this other one in 1978 so recently I was at my parents house going through some of the old stuff that I had in boxes at their house and I've stumbled across quite a few of my old vintage dolls so I'll start bringing them out and showing them from time to time on the channel but uh, let's just take the little blanket off. They're naked. <laughs> I've lost their clothes. You know, they're very, very old. But yeah, this is the first one from my childhood. Isn't she adorable? She's got the most gorgeous facial expression. I got this one for Christmas. And I remember my mother constantly stressing out every single time I would go to feed this little dolly because if you've ever owned a baby alive <laughs> they're quite fiddly and they can smell if you don't wash the food down <laughs> correctly the baby food that they came with and then I got this one for my birthday in 1978 and this one people in Australia are probably a lot more familiar with because this one was very very popular I think she was probably released in about 76 but I didn't get this one till 1978 as I said for my birthday so I've purchased some really sweet clothes that I'm going to dress these little dollies in but who remembers baby alive did you have a baby alive growing up? And if you did, let us know which one you had down in the comments. So I had special names for these little dollies. This one over here is Cindy and this one's Molly. And in Australia, we were first introduced to baby alive, I think sort of around 1973, 74, something like that. But it became hugely popular in 1976 so the dolls were originally made by Kenner and they were reintroduced by Hasbro in 2006 and <laughs> what makes these little dollies so fun and so unique and often traumatic <laughs> for the little girl who received it is that they could eat special packet food mixed with water but unfortunately 
if you didn't flush there's a system inside the the um, doll and um, it's battery operated normally when you press on the chin it would start to do this sort of fake chewing motion which really didn't do anything my dolls don't do that it's that part's broken but um, you would have to uh, feed them this sort of very watery mixtured food and then flush it down with the, you got a bottle as well and you'd flush it down with the water. The problem is the food often <laughs> didn't evacuate down the other end properly. And so the smell that would emanate <laughs> from these dolls were so disgusting and they often broke within a couple of weeks of receiving the doll. Uh, and often sent back to the shops and you know that that's basically what happened with um, with my dolls they didn't last too too long and I think much to the relief of my um, parents because they were sick of having to flush the doll, doll out and trying to fix it all the time but this one's definitely my favorite she has the sweetest face I love those little eyelashes and that's the battery pack at the back uh, and that's where the the food <laughs> would come out the back and I've actually got a photo of when I was little with my dolly and I'll show you it so I'll just cover my face for security purposes for privacy purposes but as you can see there I am with my that was my first baby alive Cindy and as you can see she's she's there she's had a little bit of a hair trim since then uh, I think I got to her with a pair of scissors but anyway it was so delightful to find these dollies I'd forgotten all about them and so what I immediately did was I got online and started looking for some clothes to dress them in so let me show you the little haul that I got for these dollies so I found this really cute company online called Frilly Lily. I think they're in the UK and they specialise in making clothes for baby lives. And so, yeah, I picked up a couple of outfits. They're super cute. So let's get them opened. They have all the different sizes for different types of dolls. So you just need to, to measure your doll. And I wanted to find something that kind of looked in period kind of looked a bit vintage and I think this does how sweet is that little pink top with the frilly collar it's got oh how cute that's got little bunnies on it that would have been perfect for Easter and there's a matching pair of little bloomers but I just love that that's a real typical vintage pink color there's a little bit of lace on the collar here that's really super cute. I love that. And then I got a little top. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, that's adorable. So that's got a little frilly, a double, double frilly collar. So, oh, it's buttons, buttons down the back. I thought that would be really cute with, I got a um, bib and diaper set, nappy set. Oh my goodness. Look at this, it's in gingham. That is, that's, that's very 70s. So that's the bib. And this is the little diaper. And, it, and it, it's made of like diaper material. That is so super cute. Oh my goodness, I love that. Not sure whether that pink's going to work with that. I really couldn't tell by the website, but that could work, I guess. Maybe I need to find a pants set, something for that instead. And then, oh, I love this. This is such a pretty colour, but I am a little bit worried this one's going to be too big. This is a romper. It's like a little floral romper. How cute is that? And I got the sweetest pair of shoes. Oh my God. Look at those shoes. They are so adorable. Velcro. 
Oh, they are darling. I might hop on and get another pair of shoes. They are super cute. I only bought one pair because I wanted to size them up first. I'm not sure whether they're going to fit, but we shall see. All right, I'm going to get them dressed now so you can see what they look like. Oh, look how precious they look. Their outfits fit perfectly. Let's go in for a closer look. I love this turquoise coloured romper. So adorable. The shoes fit perfectly. So I'm definitely going to order some more shoes online. And I just finished the outfit off with this cute little red bow. So that's Cindy looking pretty in turquoise. And then moving across to Molly, I put a little pink bow in her hair. And this little two-piece outfit looks so adorable on her. I'll just need to get some shoes. Let's take a moment as part of Casual Fun Friday to thank some of our loyal viewers who come back week after week to watch our content. We really appreciate it. So we hope you really enjoyed our box opening and had lots of fun for Casual Fun Friday. Princess Adelaide is already getting to know Cindy and Molly. Oh, she's so precious. Well, thanks everyone for stopping by today and we'll see you in our next video. Bye for now. Bye everyone.